I'm sharing to you how we got my Schengen visa. My Schengen visa po, um, specifically for those unmarried couple, separated due to the pandemic. First thing po, ano po ba yung Schengen visa? Schengen visa po is what we Filipinos need to enter the Schengen countries. These are the Schengen countries. As of the moment, um, tourism is not allowed, but then there are certain countries who are considered like Switzerland. So um, they have criteria, of course. The first will be um, you need to have a romantic relationship with a Swiss national. Uh, you need to have a long-term relationship or like the relationship lasted, lasted for a while. And then the third one, at least, um, you've met once in Switzerland or abroad. So, um, the moment po now we got the go signal from the embassy na we can apply for the visa, yung first na ginawa po namin is chinect namin yung requirements. Today, we will be talking about um, the requirements that we submitted na nagkaroon po ako ng Schengen Visa. So, let's get started! The first requirement po is you need to have valid passport. For the valid passport po, we need to take note of two things. First is the expiry. The expiry po, uh, you need to have at least three months from the uh, approved duration, uh, or sorry, you need to have three months from the end of the approved duration stay. For example, you will be staying until January. So, dapat um, January, February, March, April, April po yung um, earliest expiry ng passport. And the second thing will be the, um, you need to have at least two vacant pages sa passport. Just in case if frequent traveler ka, make sure na may extra pages ka pa po na vacant. So, moving on, the second requirement will be a visa application form. For the visa application po, it's quite uh, broad. It's two to three pages. So, I will be making another video for this. And then yung um, form din po, I will put the link in the description box below. For you to download. Now, after the visa, uh, I mean the visa form, you need to have two passport size photograph. And the photo po should not be um, older than six months. And yung background, it should be white. Yun po kasi yung requirement ng Switzerland. And wondering kung bakit two? Kasi po, uh, one. You will, uh, the first picture, you will paste that one in the application form. And then the second picture po is you will be um, putting that one at the back of your passport. If i-clip nyo lang po, huwag nyo i-staple or i-paste. Now, once you're done with the passport, you need to make a copy of your passport. The new and the old, if you have one, and then the previous visa. Um, for the photocopy po, make sure to have um, the biometric page, which has your face, <laughs> and also which has the signature. And pati din po yung backside ng passport, which has the emergency contact uh, details. And also po, for the visa, if, for example, wala po kayong visa, you have, um, if you've been to other countries na hindi natin kailangan ng visa, pwede din po yung passport stamp nyo. The next one will be the flight reservation. From the term itself, itself po, it's reservation. It's actually not um, advisable to pay the ticket not until the visa is released. Um, tendency po kasi if, for example, nag-book na kayo ng flight tapos binayaran nyo na, 
Um, especially po sa time ngayon, I doubt if um, worst case scenario if madenay po yung visa na yung airline pwede mag-refund. So, mas better na pag na-approve na po yung visa, doon na po kayo mag-book ng ticket. Pero for the requirement po, um, ang gawin na lang is pumunta kayo sa website ng airline of choice, tapos i-book nyo doon, and um, pwede nyo siyang i-hold for a few days. Or the easiest way is to um, approach travel agencies in Philippines. They can do that for you, but at an extra cost. Moving on po, we have the international travel insurance. For the international travel insurance po, um, actually at this time, what we call it's the new normal, importante siya. Kasi you will be traveling from Philippines to Switzerland. It's a long flight. So just in case lang. And for the for this one, you need to make sure po na nakastay sa sa insurance na covered yung COVID expenses and specifically din po nakastate doon yung coverage duration from departure in Philippines to um, arrival back in Philippines. Um, in my case po kasi, what happened is upon departure ko po doon sa Pinas, the immigration officer asked me regarding si sa duration po. Kasi, I er erroneously gave them the German version, which is maliko din naman po. So, I gave them the English version. Sinek talaga nila doon yung COVID coverage and yung duration of stay. And with the insurance, we got it from the European Travel Insurance, which is based in Switzerland. I would suggest po to let your partner book the insurance for you. It's easier po and useful talaga siya in case. So, um, after the travel insurance, we have here invitation letter from the host in Switzerland. For the invitation letter po, it's quite broad. Um, the embassy will be needing specific details from your partner. So, I will be making a separate video for this and um, I will teach you on how or I will guide you on how to make the letter. Next one, we have here the certificate of residence from the municipality of your partner or your host in Switzerland. Actually, this one is certificate of residency lang po. Um, your partner can proceed to the... Um, municipal administrator para humingi po no, ano certificate of residency just to prove na he really lives in that canton or area. Moving on, we have here confirmation of partnership. For the confirmation po of partnership, actually, si Switzerland po, they don't have specific template. So what we did is we looked it up online in edit lang namin yung details, tapos pinurmahan niya from his side, nag-scan siya ng copy, sinad niya sa akin, and then from my side, pinurmahan ko din po, and um, yun lang din yung sinad namin sa embassy, or through VFS. So far, wala na po siyang problema. And we have here uh, documents confirming that the partnership has existed for some time. So, dito na magagamit natin yung mga picture pictures. Since we are found of taking pictures, we Filipinos, um, ang gawin nyo po, yung mga pictures nyo together, i-print nyo po yun, and I would suggest na include those pictures with him and his family na kasama ka, or with him together with your family. Kasi po, um, it will clearly um, support na you've, well, you've really met each other and then okay ka from his side and okay siya from your side. So, um, lagyan na lang po ng location, tsaka yung year. 
para at least um, clear po yung supporting documents niya. You could also include po the um, email conversations or yung Facebook conversations niya din po. Tapos yung mga, kung let's just say, nag-travel kayo within Philippines, yung mga airline reservation or airline tickets niyo under your names. And the next one will be proof that the couple met at least once in Switzerland or in abroad before the country restrictions. So, ang hinihingi lang po dito is yung passport stamp. Let's say you've met each other before sa Hong Kong or Dubai. Yung entry niyo po sa Dubai and saka yung entry niya, iprint niyo po yun side by side para clear siya na naka-state and then yung exit exit stamp niyo din po. Now, the next one will be the additional questionnaire. For the additional questionnaire po, it will be given only upon submission of your documents sub VFS. Um, for first-time applicants po, you need to apply the visa personally sa agency, which is VFS nga. Pag-submit nyo po doon, they will give you another set of questionnaire which will be more about yourself and your relationship. So, who knows the relationship more, di ba? Kayong dalawa. Um, yung details lang doon is how you met, paano kayo, nag paano kayo nagkakilala, how many times you've met each other. That's basically about the questionnaire. So, if, you, if you're not a first-timer naman, um, if you are applying the 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 visa through post you can request uh, VFS to send you a copy of the questionnaire para pag apply niyo po pag send you na documents you can include it na now the next requirement will be the proof of financial status uh, for the proof of financial status po uh, it's only bank certificate and um, bank statement for the bank statement, it should be six months and make sure that the bank certificate has the stamp and signature from the bank. So let's just say you're unemployed. Actually, it's not a problem because if you're unemployed, this visa is about um, unmarried couple. So basically, you will be under the sponsorship and uh, yung nag invite you po is yung boyfriend or yung partner. So it will be stated then sa invitation letter. May additional um, supporting details na kayo na dapat i-add, which I will be making another video about that kasi they need um, quite a lot of documents din. So, the last requirement will be visa fee. For the visa fee po, um, you will only pay this Pag uh, you're ready na to apply for the visa. Once, once you've checked all the requirements needed for the visa application, and once okay ka na po, you're ready na to prepare, um, you can now book the appointment with uh, VFS Philippines. And then after booking the appointment, there will be an option for you to pay, the, to pay for the application. And for the fees, with VFS um, service fee, it will cost you around 1,400 pesos. And for the visa fee, which is charged by the embassy, it is around 4,600. So, basically, it's, it's, it's a lot, pero kaya naman po siyang gawin yung mga documents. So, um, if you need any help, I'll be very much willing to help. Just send me a message for our email. I will be including my email in the description box below and I hope that you get the visa. Good luck! Bye!